Hello YouTube, my name is Jason and this is LineWare. Today I'm going to be teaching you about exceptions. Java describes an exception as a event which occurs during the execution of a program that disrupts the normal flow of the program's instructions. So, there are three different types of exceptions. You have your checked exceptions and your unchecked exceptions. And there's two types of unchecked exceptions. You have your error exception and your runtime exception. The runtime exception is a internal, uh, an internal condition that the application cannot usually anticipate or recover from. And an error is an external uh, condition that it can't anticipate or recover from that your application can't and then you have your checked exception which is usually something that your application can uh, anticipate or recover from so then we're your two different types of exceptions well your three different types of exceptions two different main checked unchecked whatever let's continue now what I want you to do is I want you to create a scanner and I know we haven't gone over this. This is what allows you to put uh, the user to put input inside to get something back. And it comes from the java.utilities uh, package, which is right here. So we're going to do scanner um, crap equals new scanner. And we have to put a value inside of here because scanner actually has to have a value. And the, no, the uh, normal value that is usually put inside of here is system.in. And there we go. And this is what it, we're going to get loaded into it. And then you want to give a variable that will actually hold this value so you can reuse it for other things. And, of course, we could use string. And we can cache pretty much anything we want to string. Just one, two, three, some crap, and then it will hold it. But we want it to be able to cast an error. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something simple like an integer. Or we can actually do a character. We can do a char. But we're going to do an integer because I like integers better than anything else. And we're just going to call this integer x, and we're not going to give it any value right now because we want them to put a value inside of that integer. So whenever we do this, we go x equals um, crap dot, um, and then it gives you this option. You can do next int, and that's the one we want. So we want to give them the option of saying something like a system dot out dot print line and then we could say um say something crazy crazy fool and there we go so whenever we run this uh, we get error galore because I didn't show this right here and now we run it and now it says say something you crazy fool and then it basically waits for you to say something and then we say something like 45 and we get nothing back because all it did was store that value and you notice you can't put anything else as I am trying to put something in there and I'm typing really loud on my computer so you can hear me trying to type anything else in there but you can't so if you want to say uh, that's pretty much how that works and you could pretty much say something like you can do an if statement that says if x is less than 100 then system dot out dot print line and then you can say you're cheap or even better I like this right here uh, give me something here we go give me something crazy fool so now if it's less than a hundred uh, we'll say uh, give instead of saying give me some thing let's say give me some money and there we go give me some money crazy fool and now if we run this and we give them say five dollars it'll say you cheat and if we run it again and we say we give them that much then it doesn't say anything and then we could say else 
I'm going to get to the errors. I'm just playing around right now. This is one of the good things about being a programmer who loves to program. You get to play around. System dot out dot print line and say whoopee. And there we go. So now we can print this out and we can say that and then it says whoopee. Now we're getting that input output. And remember the scanner has to have the system dot in if you want it to load it into it. Because what we're doing is we're actually loading X with whatever they put in here. But now what if we say we put something like this? Well, as you can see, you get an error. And this is where the try catch comes in. So Basically, with the try catch, what you want to do is you want to put wherever your error might come in at inside of the try catch. And our error is coming from right here. So we want to try this right here out. We're going to try this. And we are going to say catch. And we're going to pass an error into this, of course. But before I do that, I want to tell you, this is what you want to try out. You want to try this code out, and if it catches an error for this code, it throws it back to the catch. So, and in the catch is what, what type of errors it catches. You can throw an exception, and it'll just cover all kinds of stuff. But that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to catch a specific exception. And this exception is found in the Java Utilities, and it's called Input... Um, mismatch uh, exception and then we have to name it so now we have this named and the traditional is E but you can do ERR I see a lot of people doing ERR or you can put whatever you want right here because this works basically this catch part right here works just like you would whenever you create a method how we have this right here this right here is the exception type and this is whatever you want to name that exception in case you want to th uh, give it to somebody in a different way so now we have this X it, actually we need to throw that inside of there to control X and we need to throw that in here so there we go because that X wasn't catching right here because it didn't do it so Inside of here, we want to throw whatever, if it catches an exception, say if they put like some wrong thing in here, this is what we want to print out on the screen. And we can do something like system.err.println. And then you can say something like, that ain't no money fool. That is a dang, and then you could do this, and then you can do plus E, and voila. So now let's say you can pretty much catch what that is, and whenever we put in our money, of course, you're cheap, 15, and then if you put in a, say, a letter, that ain't no money, fool. That is a dang Java Utilities Input Mismatch Exception. Congratulations, you just learned your first part of exceptions, but it doesn't end quite there because then you have your finally and you also have your throw. And there's a new uh, exception dealings with exceptions inside of Java 1.7, which we're going to go over. So, that's all I'm going to cover in this tutorial. Thank you for watching. My name is Jason. This is Blindware. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And you have an awesome day.